Hi, it's MJ. Thank you so much for joining me. William is here with me again, and we are doing a quick pick. Pick a card. And the question that we're focusing on is, why is he or she not talking to me? Why is he or she not talking to me? And Spirit is guiding me to work with two decks again, just deck number one and deck number two. Go ahead and look at the deck if that helps you out. One or two. Take a moment to think about that number. Which one? So are you picking number one or number two? This is quick pick, pick a card. Why is he or she not talking to me? Let's move this deck out of the way and we'll take deck number one first. Five card draw and we are looking at the Queen of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, Temperance is showing up, and the last card, the Impact card, is the Four of Wands. What I'm hearing is that they are figuring out why they are connected to you and they want to know what the relationship is all about. They're thinking, do I move forward? Do I just stand still? Do I, you know, opt out of this? And they're thinking about all their options. So let them go ahead and do that. There's emotional pain in their life and their heart opens up. They want to say something to you and then they close their heart. It is a soul connection. It's a past life connection because the both of you have been together before. Now it's either... You guys are going to celebrate the commitment or you're going to learn from the commitment. It's hot and cold sometimes. They go silent. Rocky grounds here and there. Back and forth energy. Um, they're not looking for long-term plans, but they are looking for instant gratification. So that is deck number one. Why is he or she not talking to me? So let's go ahead and move these five cards out of the way. And if you did deck number two. Why is he or she not talking to me? Here's your five cards. We've got the Fool, the Five of Cups, the Judgment card, the Moon, and the Eight of Wands. So what I am seeing here, intuitively, there's blocks, there's obstacles, there's a lack of commitment, there's a defensive mode, um, they have fears of being open to you, a lot of emotional wounding in their life, illusions, false identity, they've got negative opinions about himself or herself, and what they're doing is they're distracting themselves with work and with other people, and they won't allow themselves to be vulnerable to you. But I do see this person drinking a lot, and they've left you out in the cold. But if they would just take a leap of faith, it would all work out. So why is he or she not talking to me? And this is deck number two. So I just want to go ahead and thank you for joining me. Thank you, William, for helping me with the video. And we will see you again very, very, very soon. Bye-bye.